Hi guys, today is the first really warm and sunny day in Poland. It's plus 17 degrees, so I'm not wearing a jacket and a, and a cap. It's very nice and I want to show you today the proof of concept. We are flying Odyssey again. A proof of concept that Odyssey is not such a huge jet that you really need so much power to fly. And we are going to fly on normal 12S, slightly above 100 amps which will give us uh, maybe around 5 kilowatts at takeoff. So a typical battery for, for larger jets. And I'm loading two sets of 4000 mAh batteries, 12S, so it's going to be 8000. This way we can have a longer flight and we have two flights today. So now you will see that it's because I already flown it like this. Now you will see that the, the Odyssey doesn't require huge power to fly and you can easily buy this jet and enjoy it even though flying on smaller power. So uh, let's go and let's fly. full throttle. It's not so much power, but it flies great. Five 
hours. So last low pass, and we gotta land. Six thousand milliamp hours. Okay, landing. Gear down. Flaps full. One hundred fourteen kilometers per hour. One hundred nine kilometers per hour. 92 kilometers per hour, 79 kilometers per hour, 55 kilometers per hour. So it was a great flight, <laughs> very low power. I give you some flight data. Uh, at takeoff, I had a peak of 126 amps, 6.2 kilowatts, but this is for super short time and it almost immediately it dropped to 110 kilowatts and five 110 amps and five kilowatts so very normal moderate power uh, but still we were flying we were flying full speed full throttle almost all the time and the flight was more than six minutes so super nice and and if i you know relaxed a little bit more it would be eight minutes easily and uh, bear in mind that I still have 25% of the battery uh, not used. Uh, and the top speed without diving, we were going level almost all the time. Maybe the, you know, the out maximum altitude was 150 meters above the ground, so it was nothing. And the top speed was 220 kilometers per hour, so quite fast. Very nice. And this was on 12S. So, as a proof of concept, you can easily fly the Odyssey on 12S on Jetfan, uh, Jetfan 120 because it's light. If the Jet one, one, Jetfan 130 had a lighter motor, like uh, 700 grams, then it, it would be even better because 130 is more efficient than 120. But 120 is good enough for sure for low power application and it flies great. And it's a lot of fun because the flight is much longer than the previous video. So, and still enjoyable. You know, somebody said that the, the speed of the model is only uh, dependent of this, how close you fly to yourself or to the camera. So I just fly closer and that's it. Okay, we have one more set of batteries. So we have one more flight. I hope you will enjoy it. I hope I will enjoy it. Thank you and see you next time. Climb a little bit to take some speed. Full speed, full power.
124 kilometers per hour, 99 kilometers per hour, 60 kilometers per hour. Kilometers per hour, 48 kilometers per hour, 34 kilometers per hour, 18 kilometers per hour, fast and flat. No servo sound? Okay, I was going to, uh, you know, it was supposed to be the last talk, you know, between the flights, but the flight data is very interesting, so I had to sum it up. Uh, we were diving from a little bit above 200 meters now and the top speed was 254 kilometers per hour. Let's check it out. 254 kilometers per hour. Very nice. And again on the takeoff the, the power was uh, about 5 kilowatts. So super nice 110 amps. Uh, flight time full throttle almost all the time. Be, you know this very short you know, flap passes, there were only two, but the uh, flight time was five minutes and something, so very nice, but I was pushing full throttle all the time, and the plane was flying amazing. And of course, the landing, you could see, because now this plane is very light, how it lands. It's so easy to land this jet, is unbelievable. So, if you're thinking of a bigger jet, go for Odyssey, it's super nice to fly, and you can easily connect it to JetFan 120 and 12S battery, uh, everything will be under the video, the description of the power setup and, and everything, so you can use it for, for your reference. The plane flies great, I recommend to everyone, it's super easy and super predictable. And as you could see on the sharp turns, it doesn't want to stall, so it's safe. Okay, thank you so much and I hope you see you next time.